With the surge in digital services during the COVID-19 pandemic, safeguarding personal identity has become crucial. According to Javelin Strategy and Research, 15 million Americans fell victim to identity fraud in 2021, resulting in staggering losses. The total impact, including scams, amounted to $52 billion with 42 million victims. Investing in identity theft protection is wise to avoid potential financial and legal repercussions. These services offer comprehensive solutions, monitoring credit bureaus, scanning the dark web, and providing alerts for suspicious activity. Additionally, they offer insurance policies for financial recovery and tools like password managers and VPNs for enhanced security. What do you do if you suspect that someone has stolen your identity to file taxes? Before we continue, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and press the notification button so you can be notified when we upload new videos. If you suspect that someone has stolen your identity to file taxes, here are the steps you should take. First, continue to pay your taxes and file your tax return, even if you must file a paper return. Submit your tax return as soon as you can. Typically, scammers aim to file returns early in the tax season, in the hopes of receiving refunds before legitimate taxpayers file and discover the fraud. However, if you manage to file your return before the fraudulent one, the illegitimate filing will be halted. Number 2. Complete a paper return If your e-filed return is rejected because of a duplicate filing under your social security number or if the IRS instructs you to do so, complete a paper tax return. If your e-filed tax return gets rejected, don't assume you're off the hook. It's crucial to remember that you still need to file your taxes. In this case, you'll need to complete a paper return and ensure it's submitted along with any necessary payments by the filing deadline. Failing to do so could result in penalties or late fees. So, even if your initial attempt to file electronically encounters issues, follow up promptly with a paper return to fulfill your tax obligations and avoid potential consequences. Number 3. File Form 14039 Use IRS Form 14039 to alert the IRS that someone has filed a return using your identification. You'll indicate that someone has stolen your identity and it has affected your tax account since they have filed a return using your identifying information. Notification of identity theft related to tax returns often occurs after the second return is filed, whether by you or the thief. If the IRS receives two returns with the same social security number, they'll reject the second one for e-filing or send you a written notice for paper filing. Even without IRS notification, if you suspect fraud, you can act. To inform the IRS about identity theft, use Form 14039. This form alerts the IRS that someone has used your social security number for filing, affecting your tax account. Provide details such as the tax year affected and your last filed return before the identity theft incident. Number 4. Send Form 14039. Mail Form 14039 to the IRS with a copy of your social security card and driver's license. If you received an IRS notice concerning the fraudulent return, include a copy of the notice. Once you've filed out Form 14039, Set it along with a copy of your social security card, your driver's license, or another government-issued ID. If you receive an IRS notice about the fraudulent return, enclose a copy of that notice and send everything to the address specified in the notice. Remember that the IRS only communicates through mail, never by phone or email. Be cautious of any calls or emails claiming to be from the IRS, as they are likely scams. If the IRS suspects a suspicious tax return, they may send you letter 5071C, requesting identity verification. This letter provides options for verification. This online service is the fastest option, presenting multiple choice questions to confirm whether the flagged tax return is yours. Number 5. File a police report. Report the identity theft to your local police. 
submit a police report to your local law enforcement agency. While the police may not actively pursue the culprit, having a report can assist in halting debt collection efforts resulting from identity theft. Additionally, your case may contribute to broader local fraud investigations, potentially helping in stopping criminal operations. Some larger police departments may have specialized divisions dedicated to handling financial crimes and identity theft cases, enhancing the likelihood of resolution. Number 6. File a report with the Federal Trade Commission or FTC. You can file a complaint with the FTC at identitytheft.gov. You should also report the incident to the Federal Trade Commission or FTC. Although the FTC doesn't conduct investigations into individual cases of identity theft, it plays a crucial role in compiling statistical data on such crimes. Moreover, it provides valuable resources and guidance for individuals dealing with identity theft through its website. To file a report and access a personalized recovery plan, visit identitytheft.gov. Number 7. Check your credit reports. Review your credit reports for any suspicious activity. Review your credit report and account statements thoroughly. While discovering a fraudulent tax return is concerning, it might be just the beginning of potential identity theft issues. According to Britain, fraudsters often exploit stolen identity information for various purposes. Therefore, it's crucial to verify that no unauthorized transactions have been made on your credit card accounts, your address hasn't been changed without your consent, and no other unauthorized activities have occurred. It's wise to consider updating passwords for online accounts and removing stored credit card information from online shopping platforms to minimize the risk of further unauthorized access or fraudulent activity. Number 8. Put a credit freeze on your accounts. This can prevent further damage. Contact the three primary credit bureaus, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax to request a credit freeze. This precautionary measure prevents unauthorized individuals from opening new lines of credit in your name, enhancing your security against identity theft. However, it's important to note that if you need to undergo a credit check for activities such as applying for a new phone or utility account, you will need to temporarily lift the freeze to facilitate the verification process. Number 9. Get a PIN for tax filing. The IRS IP PIN is a six-digit number that prevents someone else from filing a tax return using your social security number. Enhance your tax filing security by obtaining a personal identification number or PIN provided by the IRS. This additional layer of protection safeguards your tax return from unauthorized access or filing attempts. You may qualify for a six-digit IP PIN if you have been invited by the IRS via mail to opt in or if you filed your tax return from specific states like Georgia, Florida, or the District of Columbia. However, it's essential to understand that once you receive a PIN, it becomes a mandatory requirement for future tax filings. As Craig emphasizes, once you're in, you're in. Therefore, ensure that you are comfortable with the process of requesting a PIN and understand the responsibility of using it each year for filing your taxes. While it adds an extra step to the filing process, the added security can significantly reduce the risk of identity theft and fraudulent tax filings. Remember, the IRS will never initiate contact with taxpayers by email, text, or social media to request personal or financial information. Stay vigilant and protect your personal information. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and press the notification button so you can be notified when we upload new videos.